I want to update you about the UK inquiry, which has been investigating the scandal of infected blood, blood products and tissues. And these were used by the NHS to treat people in the 70s and 80s. Tragically, thousands of people were infected with hepatitis C and HIV. Many people have died and others have suffered a lifetime of ill health. This is the worst treatment scandal in the history of the NHS. Whilst this predates devolution, as the Cabinet Secretary for Health and Social Care in Wales, I want to apologise to all those who were infected and families who have been impacted by this terrible tragedy. The Infected Blood Inquiry has now published its final report and recommendations. I want to thank the Chair of the Inquiry, Sir Brian Longstaff, and his team for all their work. And I want to thank all those who gave evidence about their personal experiences and their families. Many have campaigned for this public inquiry to take place for decades. They've shown real strength and courage throughout. It is right that their voices have been heard and I hope they feel that the inquiry has listened to their evidence and provide ans provided answers to their questions and concerns. We will carefully consider the inquiry's report and its recommendations. We want the best possible outcomes for people who have been affected by infected blood and their families in Wales. We support the UK Government's proposals to set up a new body which will pay compensation. And we'll continue to work with the UK Government to ensure that Welsh beneficiaries and their families receive compensation as the inquiry has recommended. In the meantime, our own Wales Infected Blood Support Scheme will carry on providing support for all known beneficiaries and their families. For people who believe they may have been infected before 1992, we've worked with the Welsh Blood Service to help answer any queries you may have. Once again, I apologise on behalf of the Welsh Government for this dreadful tragedy.